What's up everyone? It's Kelly and today I've got another Swatcher review for you. So today we are talking about the Mooncat Goddess Complex Collection for spring 2023. We've got six brand new polishes and they are all sheer shimmers, which sounds right up my alley. But first, if you haven't heard of Mooncat before, they are a nail polish brand that is based in the US and all of their polishes are 10 free, meaning they are free of 10 of the potentially harmful ingredients that can be found in nail polish. They are vegan, meaning they do do not use any animal derived ingredients and they're also cruelty free meaning they do not test their products on animals. So I saw these polishes and I immediately fell in love. If you know me you know that I love a sheer polish especially when it has something a little extra in it like a shimmer and especially when you can really build it up for more full coverage. So I had a feeling that I was gonna love these and I was really excited to swatch them but my thoughts on these are a little surprising. <laughs> so I don't want to spoil anything. I'm just just gonna dive into the swatches then we can talk a little bit more about my thoughts on the collection my thoughts on the brand as a whole and then pricing availability and all that good stuff so let's go ahead and roll the swatch footage so as with all of my swatch and review videos i am using base coat underneath all of my swatches just to protect my natural nail and prevent any stains today i'm using one of my favorites the orly bonder base coat so we'll start off with the shade aphrodisiac and this one is a pale pink sheer it has a holographic sparkle running throughout and then it also has a cool toned blue shimmer running throughout and I was really excited about this shade to me it's kind of a classic sheer color to wear but these types of polishes I tend to like wearing them in two coats because I like to still have a little bit of sheerness and I noticed after two coats it was looking a little bit patchy on my nails so I ended up going in with a third coat to see if that smoothed it out a little bit and I think for the most part it did one thing to note about Mooncat is they have a really fast drying formula so you can't play around with the polish for too long or else it'll start to pull it down as it dries so I think I got it mostly opaque in the three coats but you can still see around my cuticle area it was just a touch patchy which was definitely sad because I love the way this color looks Moving on, we have the shade Demeter's Harvest, and this one is a yellow sheer. And then within that, we have a really intense yellow sparkle that almost looks green in certain lights. And this is another shade I was really excited about, and I had an easier time with this one. The pink shade and some of the others in this collection had more of that pearlized streaky finish, which I think also contributed to the sort of patchiness that I was seeing. But this type of finish is a lot more forgiving with sheer polishes. So you can see in two coats, I was able to get nice coverage. It still was a little bit sheer as intended, but it didn't look patchy in certain areas on my nails. Now I did want to do a third coat just to show you what that looked like with a little bit more full coverage. And I also thought it looked really gorgeous that way. I think this is such a nice yellow. It's definitely very springy, but I think this is also going to carry me through to the summer really nicely. Moving on, we have the shade Earth to Gaia, and this one is a gorgeous turquoise sheer base. And then again, we have that silver holographic sparkle scattered throughout. And then in this one, we have a really intense fuchsia shimmer. And I absolutely love the strong contrast between the base color and the shimmer color. I think it is absolutely stunning. But again, I did have the same issue with the formula here. And I think it was just this pearlized finish in general. Now, I know it can be difficult to understand with sheer polishes, what is a patchy sheer polish and what is an intentionally sheer polish and I think the easiest way to tell is with a polish like this it should have a little bit of a brush strokey finish but there shouldn't be patches of the nail that are more opaque than others so even after three coats you could see again around my cuticle there were some spots that weren't streaky it was that they had a little bit less opacity there so again a little bit sad about it but I still think it's a really pretty color moving on we have the shade curse of calypso and this one is a really pretty shade and it's very transformative. So in the bottle, it looks like a periwinkle base, but it's actually super sheer. As you can see, I loved the way that this looked in one coat. It basically just acted like a nail brightener for me. And we have a gorgeous iridescent shimmer in here that really changes based on the angle you have your nail. You can see the most prominent colors are that gold and that really intense green, but at some extreme angles, you can actually see a little bit of blue as well. So I ended up trying this out 
out in three coats and I actually really enjoyed it in one coat and two coats and even three coats. I think it looked great in all variations and this is what I was hoping to see in the whole collection but I am glad that I got this one because it is very pretty and it is a lot more workable. And then we have another shade that is back in that sort of sheer pearlized formula. This one is called Artemis's Death Kiss and this one is a gray base and then we have a really interesting almost indigo shimmer in there. At some lights it looks more purpley, at some lights it looks more blue, and then we also have that scattered silver hollow running throughout. And I think we came across the same problems here. You can see in two coats it was just a little bit patchy, so I ended up doing a third coat, and I think this one actually ended up looking pretty good in three coats, but I would have liked to see a little bit more of a sheerness since they are supposed to be sheer shimmers. But that being said, I think that this as a full coverage three coat polish is a very nice looking shade and I think as I got used to the formula I worked a little bit faster and it was a little bit easier to make it smooth out nicely. And the final shade in the collection is this shade Ghosts of Hecate and this one is a sheer white shimmer and we have a really intense iridescent shimmer running throughout so head on it mostly looks blue into purple but at some extreme angles you can see a little bit more of a pink and even into yellow and then we do have that that scattering of silver hollow that just adds a little extra touch to it. So definitely loved the color of this one. Again, I came across that problem with the streakiness that I did see with most of these shades. And I think that this one was another shade that ended up evening out a little bit nicer after three coats, but you could still see a little bit of patchiness on it. So it was still a little bit more of a struggle than I think it should have been. So here are all of the polishes together. And overall, I really like the vibe of this collection. I'm not usually a huge fan of spring color stories, but I do appreciate sheer collections and I also appreciate really vibrant shimmers in contrasting colors and I think they did that really well. But that being said, there were a lot of shades that I did struggle with application wise. I think I was able to mostly finesse them into looking pretty good once I was done with application, but the process itself of application was definitely more difficult than I am used to with nail polish. And I think that a lot of them just ended up being a little bit too patchy for me, but I do want to talk about that a little bit more in detail. So let me hop on back over to my face and we can talk about it. So yeah, those are the polishes. And let me just say, just to get this out of the way, I think these colors are stunning. And once I had the full polish on my nails, I thought they were absolutely beautiful. But in all honesty, I did struggle with this formula a little bit. And that honestly just breaks my heart because I wanted so so badly to like these because I just think that these sheer shimmers are such a great trend right now and I want to see brands doing them more. I want to see more of them in general. So yeah, I was just really sad that I didn't have the easiest time with these formulas. I just found that it wasn't necessarily beginner friendly. The polishes, while gorgeous, are on the thicker side and I just found that they weren't very self-leveling, which is a little bit of a surprise because in the past I've had really great experience experiences with Mooncat, but I did find that they didn't level out and because they are on the faster drying side, I wasn't able to like keep going back with strokes to level it out myself. So it ended up looking slightly streaky and I was able to build it up a little bit more. And I think when you're not doing an extreme close up in HD of your nails, nobody's gonna notice any tiny imperfections and inconsistencies. But I did think that the application process wasn't as smooth as I expected expected from the brand. Now I did try to apply these over black because even if a polish is a little bit trickier to wear on its own, sometimes especially with sheer shimmers that have a little bit of iridescence in them, you can wear them over other colors and you can really make them work so nicely. Sometimes I like a polish even better when it's over black or over a darker color that kind of transforms it, but unfortunately they were a little bit streaky over black so I wasn't able to do that. Now that's not something that I fault the brand or the collection for because that's not how they're intended to be worn but I was just kind of trying to find a way to make them work for me and that wasn't the way to make them work for me but yeah I don't think that this collection is indicative of my previous experiences with Mooncat because I have tried their polishes before and I really liked them I think that the sheer formulas tend to be a little bit more difficult because you want them to be a little bit see-through but you also want them to be smooth enough that it doesn't look like it 
was an accident that they were here. You know what I mean? So I appreciate them making the collection. I think the colors are beautiful, but I did struggle a little bit with that formula. And again, I do want to say I really enjoy the brand. I'm not trying to bash anybody here. I know when I do negative reviews, people get very upset, but it is really important to me to be very honest with you guys and really give you my experience of trying polishes. It's always important to give you the positive and the negative because especially when you're buying online, sometimes you don't know exactly what you're going to get. And I think that's what these reviews are for is being able to anticipate what to expect with these polishes. So please don't take this to be like a negative bashing review. I love Mooncat. I love the polishes from them that I have, but sometimes polishes just don't work on me and that's okay. And they might actually work better on other people. Maybe some people prefer this type of formula and that's totally fine too. So yeah, that is my thoughts on them. Like I said, this is just my experience. So maybe you have a different one. And if you do, you can definitely let me know in the comments and I'm always happy to hear it. Let's talk a little bit more about pricing and availability. All of these polishes are on the Mooncat website. They come in 12 milliliter bottles. They do have a wide flat brush that has a rounded tip and all of these polishes range from 14 to 15 dollars USD on the Mooncat website. So I will link that down below. You can check them out if you are interested. But I am curious to hear what you think about these polishes. If you've tried them, maybe you've had a different experience than me. Definitely let me know in the comments. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. If you enjoy my swatch and review videos, please give this one a thumbs up. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. And of course, a huge shout out to my supporters on Patreon, my Royal Astronomer, Amanda M, as well as my Cosmic Admirals, Rocket Man's daughter, Paula, Ken, Rosie, and Courtney. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter Caroline and Caroline wants to know what's a show you could watch over and over again? You know, I, I talk about this a lot, but I feel like it's actually been at least a year since I've mentioned it. So I'm going to allow myself to say this again, but my absolute favorite show of all time is Avatar The Last Airbender, which yes, it is a Nickelodeon show. It is a kid's show primarily, but I think it is absolutely incredible. That to me is the perfect example of the perfect story. Like I think just just the way that all of the characters grew over the course of the story, the way that everything was woven together while taking really serious topics and putting them in something that kids could understand, which I did. I started watching it, I think when I was 14 or 15 years old and then also having like funny moments and honestly I still quote that show all the time. <laughs> that I think was just such a an important show to me growing up and I think it's still such an important show to me and I could watch it over and over again honestly. I don't know. It's just incredible. So yeah that's it. If anybody wants to share their favorite show let me know in the comments. We can chat about it and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!